Welcome to step three, which is called Feed the Growth Mindset. I probably don't have to spend too much time kind of reviewing what the growth mindset is. It's based on Carol Dweck's work on uh, the fixed versus the growth mindset. In, in a nutshell, it's really just about uh, developing yourself, fighting through, uh, being persistent, fighting through obstacles, and, uh, you know, feeding your uh feeding your brain and your accomplishments and your talent. So that's really what it's kind of all about. So the resources that you'll find here, first of all, there are some resources just about the growth mindset in case you want to uh, learn a little bit more about it. So those are some uh, right out of the box. These first two articles are linked to that. But, you know, the big idea here is, you know, as educators, especially busy educators and administrators, we're always, uh, we, we sometimes forget the fact that we need to kind of uh, step back and do some reflecting on our own practice as well as learning from others. And there's a lot of great resources out there that uh, we can use and, and, you know, in some cases, you know, things like uh, great iTunes U courses, great professional development that you can get for free online. Uh, these are things that will feed your growth mindset that you can do at your own time, your own pace, and continue our, our learning cycle. So first of all, there is this uh, Staying Sharp over the summer. There's some free uh, PD courses. This is from Middleweb. So that provides you with a variety of different ideas and suggestions on how to kind of just uh, reflect and get some good resources. Uh, iTunes U, I'm a big fan of iTunes U and iTunes podcasting. Uh, these are some interesting courses that you can take on iTunes U. Now, there is some talk that iTunes U um, may be changing and maybe even um, not having its same existence that it did in the past. But there's, so for now, there's some great resources out there. You know, things like, you know, learning about American history, learning about psychology. Uh, you can actually take courses and see lectures and get materials from uh, top-rated universities. Uh, OneDrive is a free app that's also called the Libby app uh, that can combine with your local public library and you can get uh, audiobooks as well as just uh, ebooks through your local public library and it works very similar. Uh, again, you can, you can go to this OverDrive site and set up a free account. Again, you link it with your local library so they uh, get credit as well. Uh, here it is. There's the Libby app. Uh, it's really great. So it works pretty much like a library. You can get a book, uh, say, for two weeks. And then once uh, you, you know, you're finished with it or the two weeks is up, it's going to revert itself back to your library. And then you, if you need to finish it, you can uh, get it. But it's also great for just audiobooks. So you can listen to audiobooks um, through your library. And again, you have a limited time on them. So uh, again, it works like a library. You're not actually going to be able to keep them for as long as you want, but it also means you don't have to pay for them and you don't have to, uh, you know, clog up memory on your device because uh, it'll take it off the device when it's finished. So uh, OverDrive has been around for a while and you can get them on your phone, your iPad, a Chromebook, variety of ways to get that. And uh, so ebooks and audiobooks for free. And uh, again, just to enhance your mind, reading is and listening is always good. For that. Uh, Goodreads will link, uh, if you have a Facebook account, it can link with your Facebook account, but that's about just keeping track of your personal library. So we're all probably reading books, and if you find a good book you read, why not share that? This will allow you to kind of uh, connect through a social, uh, social network to share out the books that you've read. You can even do reviews and that sort of thing, and you can also find other books. So if you find a friend that uh, you know reads similar type of books that you do, you can kind of connect with them and see what they're reading, and then you can, uh, you know, add your own uh, reviews as well. The New York Public Library for all New York State residents, you do have access to their collections. You just need to sign up uh, for the free uh, a New York Public Library card, and, and similar, you can get audiobooks and ebooks as well as uh, some of the online resources that they have available through the public library. Uh, keeping in mind, you will have to, you know, you only have them for a limited time, similar to a library. So this is an article about different radio shows and podcasts. Um, these are the best education podcasts of 2017 from Edutopia. Looks like I need to do some updating, but uh, I'm sure you can find the latest and greatest of those. And probably these ones from 2017 are still probably very uh, relevant 
Uh, so, for example, there's Cultural Pedagogy's podcast. So, again, up to date and relevant still. So, even though it says 2017. Uh, this is some more uh, information about the growth mindset. And then down at the bottom here, I have some iTunes U courses again. Uh, you might want to jump on these while you can, and uh, they're good for just back to school uh, pieces. I'm not sure what Apple has in mind for iTunes U, but it looks like they're transitioning it to a different type of format. So hopefully that content is still going to be out there, but um, jump on that while you can. So the growth mindset, keep reading, keep exploring, keep pushing your mind, and you can do a lot of these things for free. And you can do them um, you know, through audio learning as well as just visual.